which brings me to some other point. Mm -hmm. What's this point? Robert Joshua, Anthony Joshua's father, was quite upset with Eddie Hearn. Why is that? At the end of the fight. Well, reports are that he did not want his son to fight in this particular bout because he just felt that Anthony Joshua wasn't ready to fight. And so when he saw his son get knocked down four times and lose his first professional fight, he had some words and maybe some fist for Eddie Hearn. And I made a video about it. And in the video you see uh, in here, Anthony Joshua pleading with his dad not to. And you see Robert Joshua wanting to get his hands on Eddie Hearn. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, Well, I think that... uh it's an understandable response for a father uh, yeah. who, is, who maybe feels that Eddie Hearn uh, pushed the fight too hard. Possibly. Uh, and ultimately didn't f- feel like his son was prepared. True. Um, but at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua is a professional fighter. You are he right. He was the overwhelming favorite in this fight. <laughs> you are definitely right about that. So at the end of the day, do you think that – Anthony Joshua looked past Andy Ruiz. Look, oh, in t- look into a Deontay Wilder. Of course. Look into a Tyson Fury. Every interview, Deontay Wilder, I'm ready. We need to sit down and have a face-to-face. He was basically calling out Deontay Wilder over and over, calling out Deontay Wilder and not really focusing on Andy Ruiz because I felt that, well, that's what he gave off. Now, looking back in reading and having reports come out that maybe he got dropped in sparring and he was not as confident. I could agree. It looks like that's true because he did not seem confident in the corner. When he got to the, in the ring, he was having his shoulders and neck massage and his eyes were looking bugged out at times. Those are all signs of anxiety. Hmm. I didn't see those things. Yeah, I, I saw that. I've studied this. I've researched this, and I was like, he seems very anxious, like he doesn't want to be here. Mm. But he's a champion, and he feels that this guy, no way this guy is going to stand up to me, Anthony Joshua, the chiseled Adonis. <laughs> no way. Chiseled Adonis. That's what he feels about himself. Okay, I got you. I agree. And I guess he forgot that all those muscles need oxygen. Mm. Oxygen H two O is water. What's mm. oxygen? O. O. The O. And guess what left him on that night? The O. The O. His muscles like I need oxygen. Help me! Help me! And all of a sudden he got hit upside the head and he was wobbling and that was it. That was it. Now, sure, Pedro Justice made a lot of videos about this situation because it's shocking. At the same time, I'm trying to take the high road. All of the trash that Eddie Hearn talked. All of the rubbish, as though they say in England. And now to see them eating humble pie, I can't say that I'm against it. Now, because I do like Anthony Joshua, Mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why I haven't gone overboard. Is because I still know he can come back if he just focuses. But just something seemed off with him. He didn't seem himself. Hmm. So, uh, the... Rematch clause yes. has been activated. Yes. What are your predictions for the rematch? If, and I start off with if, if Anthony Joshua has a full training camp, he takes the disappointment that happened to him, he internalizes that, either he adds another person to help him with training or they adjust his training plan to compensate for all of the muscles that he has because – Sometimes you can do regular training, but based on where you're at, you need additional training to make sure that your wind is there. It seems as though he gasses out in his fights. Mm, mm. And then sometimes he'll get that second win and then he'll just get through because he's powerful. But in this particular fight, that never happened. It's like he got the wind beat out of him. (laughs) Okay, I got you. I got you. Um. Okay. So yeah. he's, he's not going to look past Ruiz again, is he? He should not. Now, hindsight is twenty twenty. Yes, it is. If he overlooks him again, I mean, if he comes in here and he's just not good and he just gets outboxed and gets beat down and or he gets beat up for 12 rounds, 
it it might be over for Anthony Joshua. His career could be ended by a loss to Andy Ruiz in yes, a rematch. In a rematch, if he doesn't come in there like I think he will. Now, I feel that he has something in him that he's not going to just lay down because this is not his first loss as as a boxer, just a professional boxer. He's got stopped in in the amateurs and he came back and he was better. Ted the Atlas pointed out that he might need a new trainer. Mm, mm. A new look. A new, new look, refreshed. If he keeps the same trainer, they can't have the same game plan. I mean, if again, I heard in the corner them communicating, it just seemed odd. Like, it just seemed not right. And it, Okay, I'm saying all this. This is it. Just jab. Just jab. Just jab. Just jab. Six foot six. 247. Put your guard up. Jab. Point him out. Point him out. Set him up. He didn't do any of that. So let's just say the first original game plan, if he had one, it didn't work because he didn't execute anything. So, well, the great Mike Tyson said, yeah. everyone has a plan to take that first hit. And he didn't take so the hit. So you're saying that the chin is in question for the next fight. I, I'm thinking so. I mean... He got hit with that left hook. Okay, well, what, all what about this question? Mm-hmm. Will Andy Ruiz come in overconfident? Like Buster Douglas <laughs> came in w- w- way out of shape for the Evander Holyfield fight and got knocked out? I don't think that will happen. Okay. Um, Andy Ruiz believed in, in himself to win this fight. Yes. Where no one else believed. That's true. And he was ready. <laughs> he was ready. He, he trained in five weeks, too. Yeah, you're right. And he... Did what he needed to do. He came in lighter than normal. Yeah. Faster than normal. He was ready. And I think he'll be ready for a rematch. Yeah. yeah. And he'll have boxing fans behind him. Yes. I don't think he needs to lose weight. I think at the end he gained a little by five pounds just to so he made sure he felt like himself. And the good thing is he had a fight before that. And it's odd that you would come off a fight and then have another fight but I think that worked to his advantage because he was warmed he was warmed up he already had a training camp and the guy was bigger and like Joshua and he took care of that guy so two big guys in a row dismantled him terminated the Terminators Giant Slayer Giant Slayer so Anthony Joshua we will let you off the hook I could go on for hours talking about this I'm not saying that I'm not going to make any more videos if you want to go ahead I'm not going to say I'm not, but Anthony Joshua, to your fans, you need to come in here and show us that you actually have heart. All of that talk about Deontay Wilder, and, and really is from Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn. Should Deontay Wilder be returning Anthony Joshua's calls today? Yes. First, he should answer. <laughs> That's how you should answer the call and then say, if you want to talk to me face to face, get your belts back first and then we can talk. So Deontay shouldn't be fighting lineal champions or or champions without belts? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Anthony Joshua's reputation is on the line in this mm, fight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People now are going back on how they were talking before. Two-faced people, of course. <laughs> hypocrites. 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 Should 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 Deontay Wilder call out Andy Ruiz? He's no. He's a champ. They're both on they're both on uh PBC. Mm-hmm. Financial advisor is Al Heyman. Mm-hmm. Contractually, no matter what Andy Ruiz is saying saying he wants 50 million and all this stuff, He's still going to have to fight Joshua next unless Mm -hmm. Joshua backs out. Mm -hmm. So before any real Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz talk happens, Andy Ruiz has to take care of business and defeat Anthony Joshua for the second time. Defend his title. Yep. And then he'll be ready for Wilder. Then it's a super fight. Now, in spirit, I don't know if this has been an actual sign, but I know Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are supposed to fight sometime early next year. If... If he beats him, but see, that's in December, so we'll see. I know it's going to be talks, but just say he cancels that fight the same way uh, 
Tyson Fury backed out of their immediate rematch, and mm-hmm. Deontay Wilder backs out of this, and that's a fight between Andy Ruiz for the undisputed heavyweight championship. That would be the biggest fight. <laughs> I, I, I believe that. So heavyweight boxing is back, and don't let anyone tell you anything other than that. It's back. It is back. It's back. So enjoy. So enjoy it. Eddie Hearn. <laughs> Barry Hearn. <laughs> Anthony Joshua, keep your head up. Train. First, just take two months off. Don't no boxing. Take two months off. Enjoy your family, friends. Do things. Come back. If you don't add to your training camp, at least get these guys to to get a plan, use your jab, and show some heart. And you should win the rematch. But otherwise, Andy Ruiz, congratulations. Congratulations. Heavyweight champ. Heavyweight champion.